Hey YouTube, Flag Jacket 1000 here, and uh, today on this episode, um, I'm going to be discussing a few things. And as you can see, I've put mine together now. Put all the sides together, glued them all together with super glue. And um, first, what I want to talk about is the mainspring rails, and that's the piece that's right in there, and that allows the mainspring housing to follow the rails in there and um, stay in the gun pretty much that's what the mainspring rails do and the, the mainspring itself is what holds the spring that um, pushes up on the strut of the hammer and and pushes the hammer uh, forward to hit the pin so the way you make the mainspring rails is you get your um, inside view cut out of the uh, the uh, mainspring rail here um, whatever percentage you use print it out and what you're gonna do is uh, right here it says that um, you're, you're gonna use about I used eight layers on each rail eight layers for that side and eight layers for that side so you're gonna print out eight eight of these and um, it should be each of them should be 0 .043 inches and when it's combined with the um, outer frame it should equal one point one zero four five inches um, and the way I, I cut these out is um, say I started with the um, cut out here let me draw it out Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay, so say I started with um, the inside view cut out. I'm sorry, that's a bad drawing, but um, what I did is I cut out this outside, uh, out the outside lines of it and uh, didn't cut out the insides right off and I glued about four of these together and then I glued I mean I uh, cut the inside part of this out that way when I was gluing them together these wouldn't squish in um, and uh, get uh, smaller uh, in the gap and I would you know I wanted to be uniform in the um, the rail so I just got four four of these cutouts together and glued them together, then cut out the middle, then did it again. But four more, then cut out the middle. And um, it came out really good. Yeah, you can see that. That's the uh, inside rail there. And on the other side too. And yeah, you can see the other side, how the uh, blueprint in there. And this side is just the blueprint turned on the other side. <laughs> so the next thing I want to talk about is the slide rails. And um, I haven't put mine on yet, but I can still tell you how to put them on there because I'm fixing to do it. Uh, so you have this part left up here on the on the rail. Is sticking up, and what you're gonna do is you get you're gonna get a outer frame blueprint, um, and put it to the print it out with the zoom that, that works for perfect sizes. And um, I what I did is I printed out one one of them, cut it out, and then put it on the copier and copied it uh, several times. I copied it uh, six times, and put it on one page, and uh, I stapled a blank page behind it. So when I cut out one. Uh, it'll actually cut out too since there's another page behind it. And for the for the for the slide rail, each rail, for one thing, it'll be 3.6 inches long. And the width of it, as you'll see there, is going to be um, 
0 0.0615. But because uh, the outer frame that you used, that, that you made, was 0 0.0615, and uh, the rail will be the same um, thickness, 0 0.0615 which will be about 12 pieces or whatever you um, if you use 12 pieces for the outer frame then use it if you had to use less or more or whatever then use whatever amount you use for the uh, outer frame when you made that because it'll be the same thickness as that um, and then after you get them all all 12 glued together uh, you'll glue the one on that side and then the other 12 layers on that side which will make one I mean two complete rails there um, so 12 layers on each side pretty much make that clear um, next I want to talk about um, I made some a little bit a rough contouring um, of this part right here it looks kind of messy right now but um, it, I'll get it refined up and stuff uh, for get ready for painting later on but I, I just did it to see um, how I was going to do it and uh, I left the other side like it is to show you that's how it was like that and then um, I just got my Dremel and uh, just put it on the edges and contoured it made it more round pretty much but it's still got a little bit to go and uh, that's what I did and uh, if you don't have a Dremel you can use, if you have a drill, uh, you can go to the store and buy some sanding bits that go inside the drill and that'll work just fine. So you don't have to go out and buy a Dremel. Um, also what I did is, like on these areas right here, I got, what I did is I uh, put super glue there, the quick drying super glue. I just turned it upside down and um, got the super glue and placed it on these joint areas let me get it focused here I placed it on the joint areas and um, then got some baking soda and just uh, dropped it over it and then um, knocked off the excess baking soda and what that does is it almost makes like an epoxy and uh, it, it gets extremely hard and it'll uh, make the shape that you're wanting if you don't uh, if you messed up or you have a, a gap or um, it's not strong or anything like that I, I put it on the joints uh, on most on the on these edges right here I put it there um, and of course up there to make it a little bit more round right there but I still need to grind it a little bit because it's kind of messy still and uh, hopefully your magwell hole I mean your your um, mag release hole is lining up um, like that so that when you put your magazine in this slot right here lines up with it because that'll that's what will hold the magazine in and mine lines up right in there uh, okay lastly I made a little bitty represent representation of a slide catch right here and you're probably wondering maybe some of you what is a slide catch well later on when we make the real slide catch I'll explain more into it but what it does is it catches the slide whenever the last round in the magazine is used up and fired and there's no more rounds in the magazine what it will do is it will raise up and it'll prevent the slide from um, going forward any hold on I, I forgot to let me get my slide real fast more so my uh, not really my slide but a little bitty representation so I could show you this I didn't make a whole slide for this but uh, okay so pretend this is the slide and those are the the um, sides of it so it's sliding it's it can freely slide around here and actually, let me put the magazine in with the, the round, and uh, so you can better understand it. So you put the round in. Put the uh, magazine in the mag well. 
Okay, now put the slide on. And as you can see, when the round's in there, the slide can easily slide back and forth on the slide rail. And um, say the slide goes back, and then it pushes in this round right here. So let me go ahead and push this round in, or out of the magazine. So it goes up the, the ramp right there. Oh, and by the way, the ramp right there that you made, I went ahead and um, ground it uh, more down to make more of a ramp. See, I rounded it and grounded down the edges there. You can see that. So anyway, let me go ahead and get the round out. Like if the slide was pushing it out, it'd push it that way. It'd go up into the chamber. And so now you see there's no round in the magazine, and the magazine pushed up the slide catch because of um, that the um, little ridge right there pushed up on that little tab you see sticking out there, which when the round is in there, uh, it does not. So anyway, the slide catch is pushed up, and the slide cannot be it cannot go past it anymore because it's pushed up. So it's blocking it. So it keeps the slide back. So that's why when you see people firing the last round, the slide stays back because the slide catch has gone up by the magazine pushing it up. And it, it does that so that when you're out and you pull the magazine out and you put another one in, you can just push down on that and the slide will go forward and put the new round in without you having to, to uh, rack it back again. So, um... I hope that explains it kind of well, but I mean, I'll show you when we get more into the uh, slide and everything. I just thought that would be kind of cool to do, just a little small thing. Uh, I'll show you the inside of that. And you can see that little tab going through. And when the magazine goes in, put this like that. Magazine's going through, and you see the tab right there, and that little bitty part pushes up on that. That part right, uh, right there. It's hard to see, but anyway, um, that's all for this episode. I uh, hope that I explained it well. Um, and if you have any questions, um, I'll be happy to answer them. So, until next time.